Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh. I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix Quick Tip tutorial. And today we're going to take a look at how to save your default search criteria in Matrix. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS may have slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. All right, so for anyone who's familiar with Matrix, you already know how easy it is to switch to a different search form, as well as customize which fields appear and the order that they appear by default. What you may not be aware of, however, is that you're also able to set the initial criteria values that populate these forms. And one reason you may want to do this is if you find yourself constantly adding the same criteria to most of your searches. So for this example, we're going to assume that I generally do business only within these areas that I'm most familiar with. And because my clients are typically looking for active single family properties, I'm also going to ensure that this is the only status and the only type selected. Next, I'm going to save my criteria as my new starting default. And again, this is because these are the only values that should automatically be populated whenever I do a residential search in the future. But for now, I'm just going to continue adding more criteria for a specific client search. All right, so now let's assume that we need to do a search for a completely different client who's looking for properties that don't include any of the current values. To do this, I can simply clear all of the fields at once without affecting any of my saved defaults. In other words, clearing the form only removes the criteria from the current search that I'm working on. So the next time I select this property type, it will automatically load the criteria that I initially saved with it. Now at this point, if I wanna remove this form saved criteria and set it so no values appear when I select this property type, I simply need to clear the form and then save this as a new default. And again, the next time I select to use this property type, none of the fields will contain any values. And finally, if after all of your customization, you'd like to reset this form back to the system default, simply select the save button and reset it to the original. All right, well, this concludes this quick tip tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.